show you another demo about resonance. With this demo, I will be using a speaker and a wave generator. The wave generator can increase or decrease the amplitude with this knob, and it can also increase and decrease the frequency. Now I'll turn it on and show you a demo with this tube. This is a dough tube, and it has a certain natural frequency, which is 256 hertz. When I put it close to the speaker at 100 hertz, it does not resonate. But when I increase the frequency to 256, you can feel the vibrations in the tube, and you can hear it resonating. When I take it away, the vibrations stop. And I put it close, you can hear it again. Now I'm increasing the, the frequency and the sound a little bit so you can hear it. And when it touches 256 hertz, you can hear it vibrate. When I take it away, it stops vibrating. So after finding out the dough, the dough tube frequency is 256 hertz, I want to figure out this, this tube's frequency. This is a fa tube. Now put it closer over here, and as I can see, it's not, it's not 256 and I cannot hear it resonating. And I cannot feel the vibrations. So I'll try to increase it to see if it works. When it reaches about 341.3, I can feel it vibrating. And when I take it away, it stops. Put it back close together, and it's resonating. So the frequency of the FAW tube is 341.3 hertz. The next and last tube I'm going to use is the Mi tube. The Mi tube also has a different frequency from the Do tube and the FAW tube. I'll put it close again, like I did with the previous tube. And I'll turn this one down a little bit. And the frequency of this tube is 320 hertz. I can feel the vibrations in the tube, and when I take it away, I cannot feel the vibrations. When I put it back to the speaker, I can feel the vibrations again. Now let's do another demo about force vibration with the sine wave generator and the speaker. When I turn it on, the uh, speaker will start to vibrate and I could easily change the frequency with these uh, buttons. The natural frequency of, of this tuning fork box is 256 hertz. So when I uh, change the so when I turn it to 256 hertz on the sine wave generator and I turn it off the sound is not coming from here surprisingly it's coming from the tuning fork box okay it, this is again because of resonance uh, the uh, frequency of the of the speaker is the same as the natural frequency of the tuning box, so the tuning box starts to vibrate. Thank you. Now I will show you an experiment using this big tube. Considering it is a big tube, you might think the frequency is very high, but we'll find out soon. We'll put the tube at a 45 degree angle and turn on the generator. As you can see, it's at 100 hertz, and the sound is very low. We'll turn it up to about 120, and I can feel the vibrations in the tube. But when I increase it even more, the sound decreases. So this shows that the frequency of this big tube is 120 hertz. When it, low when it decreases, the vibrations are not felt, but when and when it increases, the vibrations are not felt either. But when it is at 120 hertz, you can feel the vibrations. Hi, so we're going to show you another experiment using this, big, this other tube. I'll insert this tube, and doing so will change the natural frequency. Now we'll come over here, we'll turn on the generator, and try to find the natural frequency. We'll turn it up to about 186 maybe. So we, fit, we found the new natural frequency, it's 186 hertz. When I put my hand on top of the tube, I can feel it vibrate at 186 hertz. 